Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I went to a church car show, and it was amazing. It was uh, put on by Trinity Fellowship here in Amarillo, Texas. Awesome facility, awesome car show, and I'll brag about that more at the end of the video. Anyhow, joined the burned out contest in Whiskey Dent, and it wouldn't even break the tires loose. Now, any of you know, this thing is a tire boiling uh, machine and I'm gonna figure out why I have a few Thoughts on what it could be um, After reviewing the video and all anyhow anyhow, I'm gonna jump into this I'm gonna show you guys the car show footage. You'll see what I mean after that and at the end of the video I will give you guys the diagnosis anyhow if it's Something you're interested in stick around. Welcome to Potter County patina. Let's go guys. Let's do this So I've been moseying around. I got the shop kind of picked up around here. I got whiskey dent pulled into the back. So I'm going to jump into this. I just popped the hood up, got my tools over here. I seen something right off the bat that I was like, oh, this isn't awesome. Um, and I'm not absolutely certain that this is what I'm thinking it is. However, um, 
very, very simple fix. If this is it, which I don't know, I'm gonna probe into it, you guys will see that. Let me flip you around and show you what I'm talking about. So open the hood, everything just right off the bat. I'm like, hey, it doesn't look like any of the spark wire, uh, the plug wires are touching, that sort of thing. So I'm like, great. Now, if you're staring at this, and specifically, I haven't wrapped any of these wires, so I start just kind of zooming my peepers in. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if I'm thinking correct, this engine's hot. I just pulled it back here. See the female end of that connector? just sitting there on top of an aluminum valve cover if i'm thinking correct that goes to a wire that is off my distributor um i was plugging plugging tack signal into that now my tack didn't work to begin with um because of that wire but i am thinking that i have got a ground off or something going on Think of that, think of it like this. If we're sitting there running and that is grounding to that valve cover, correct? Think of this. If that's grounding that valve, I haven't touched this. You can still see there's dust all over it. I haven't touched the thing. If that's sitting there that close to the valve cover, because it looks like it's touching it barely on that corner and it's vibrating and keeps cutting signal out to the distributor, but extremely fast as I'm revving, that's why it wouldn't let me rev up. Now, that could be it. I don't know. Just seen that. So I'll trace that down. Um, haven't pulled the plugs. I'm going to get into that. You guys stick around. I'm going to put you guys in lickety split mode. We're going to go through all of this right quick, and then I'll catch you guys up at the end. And that's where we're going to go. So hold on to your horses. Get something cold to drink. I'm going to put you guys in lickety split mode. And uh, let's jump right into this. Guys, I noticed something right after I shut y'all off a second ago that um, I've got a leak down here. I'll show it to you uh, here in just a bit. But there's uh, five or six splashes down here, okay? Follow it up from the bottom radiator hose, red and gummy. I've got my transmission cooler lines. Uh, all of my transmission lines from the transmission and I have a leak on this side, very bottom corner of this radiator. Now, if we're considering this, from the get-go, I was kind of, I was like, it feels like the stall converter was locked up or wasn't. Um, anyhow, if we're thinking about this, y'all seen the video, the little burnout, like, it sounded like it was loading up or it wasn't, but it was, I don't know. My feeling driving it was something was going on in the transmission. That's what I felt. It felt like it wouldn't let it engage, but it was holding it just enough to move. Low fluid will do that exactly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check all the spark plugs, do all that before I uh, start it back up because I need this thing to cool down. So I'll check on the transmission at the end of this and keep you guys posted but we've got a transmission leak that's bad down there i was just wiping the fluid off the stick i'll get it running and put it in neutral whenever i check it i just wanted it to be clean so it'll get a good good solid reading um all right now i'm putting you in liquidy split i'm gonna do some plugs all right guys so we're back into the front of it. Let's see here. I like being at this point, guys. When we see spark plugs that look that good, that's always such a good sign. Look how clean the oil is. Right on the full line, too. Can you hope you guys can see that? So anyhow, um, that's full. We'll check the transmission, but I do want to look at this little switch over here that goes to the kick down. Because like I said, whenever um, I stomped on it coming home from the meat, uh, it fell on its face. And then right at the end of it, it felt like the transmission kicked down like it didn't kick down into gear and just take off like it should. So transmission fluid, probably real low. So we're looking at that. Um, 
and my switch. Let me show you guys something right quick. Let me get you off here. I didn't touch that, I just looked right at it. Okay, check this out. So this is nothing but a micro switch. Okay, you keep in mind a switch is a switch is a switch. So all it does is sends 12 volts to the back of the transmission, okay? If you're looking at this linkage right here, see this down here? That's supposed to be up under this. If I was to gas this, this linkage swings up, and if it's catching, it's barely doing it. So let's watch this, and it's gonna be doing it right at the end of the throw instead of right at the midpoint of throttle. So you guys watching that? I'm gonna move this back. We're already way past half throttle. There we go, we're right at the end. We want that switch to be compressed like right here, okay? This is probably quarter throttle, which I never get into. Um, so, I am going to adjust that because we want that kicking in right around there, not, you see the choke arm moving? Look how far down I'm going. I'm nearly, I'm way at the back of the, like, that's it. I didn't even hear it click. Listen, you should hear it click. Yeah, we're right at the end of the spring in my hand. There it goes, right at the, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna fix that. That's a good sign to find. So that's kick down. I'll catch you guys up in a minute. All right guys, so what did we decide? If you guys have an idea, uh, put it down there in the comments. What do you guys think? I'm gonna fire this up for the first time here in just a second. Uh, got all the plugs in there. Um, I went ahead and put about three quarters of a quart of transmission fluid. It wasn't like low, low. I've never noticed any transmission fluid in my front driveway and I park out there most times. So I think that might be something that maybe just happened, but I got like four turns. So that would be like, um, let's say quarter turn per rotation, you know, maybe a turn out of it, out of each one of the clamps, which it could be. That's where it felt like it was coming out from um, right behind one of the clamps. So the intake bolts are tight. The carb bolts are tight. There's not a vacuum leak on top of it. Um, you know, I don't absolutely know that it wouldn't be that switch. Um, but I know the throttle response feels way better now. Um, I'm just going to kind of go with the good Lord kept us alive. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to be bitter about it. I'm actually, it's not even embarrassing. It's humbling. Um, I think it's kind of a neat deal that it happened that way. It gave me a chance to stop and reflect, get back out here and do a safety check on this. I haven't went through this. I've probably put 200 miles on it, maybe three um, in the past few months, just doing car shows and trips and run into town right quick and do this and do that. So, um, I haven't had a chance to really just do um, any kind of checking since I've done that. So this was a good opportunity to do it. Um, kind of a crazy video because all the other videos of this thing, I'm just, you know, it's it's running fine and doing what it needs to do. So I'm not even mad about it, humbled by it. Um, if you guys found any value in this, um, feel free to like the video. If you'd like to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. You can do that as well. There's a little notification deal. So anytime I post a video, it'll pop up. Now, there's a lot of new people. If you've made it this far, uh, congratulations. I've just met a lot of you guys. I know that um, after this Trinity show, my viewer subscription has skyrocketed. Um, that's cool. So I wanna keep you guys entertained. Um, I'm nobody special. Um, I just work on cool stuff in the back of my shop after work. Um, kids and a family, that sort of thing. So I'm a family driven oriented person. Um, so feel free to stick around guys. We build kind of cool stuff out here and get around town just to show it off and do car culture stuff. So like I said, if you found value in it, like, subscribe. Hey, leave a comment guys. It lets me know where the feedback needs to be. Um, and until then, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Trinity Fellowship. That was an awesome event. You guys went above and beyond. You made it calm, clean, and comfortable for everybody, the participants as well as spectators. Uh, white face forward, that was awesome of you guys to come out there and throw down on the fajitas. We had a great time. Um, it was a wonderful fellowship. Um, 
I mean, it was just, it was a great time. And I'm not going to edit any of the audio out of the uh, little deal. So that was, that was nice that I don't have to do that. But anyhow, thank you guys. And until next time, peace and cheers.